Okay, true story. A man about the age of 35, but not really looking good for 35, just proudly marched his big ol' ego right out of a local hotspot bar near my workplace. I was walking home on route after closing, and he couldn't bother to look up and see me. Obviously, his cigarette lighting required full attention and was blatantly priority uno, proceeding reminding himself all night how cool he was at this bar. Even with my phone in both hands, with my texting thumbs pitter-pattering, I let him stamper past me like a rhinoceros on rollerblades. I stepped aside, gave him the right of way. He finally makes eye contact with me after he gets his cancer stick lit. Thank goodness, mission accomplished. And I was nice enough to give him this little friendly like head nod, like, I see you, man. You're good. Crisis avoided. To which he sucks in a long, hot drag. Puffs in the smoke and exhales a nice big smoky. <laughs> nice book bag. I was assuming it was to me because can you believe nobody else in the Laurel Tavern was cool enough to bring a book bag with them on Saturday night? That was the only one. That was the only one. Trends, I gotta tell you. I shrugged him off and gave him a little. Thanks, man. Predictably, this 30 some balding, beer-bellied, washed-up version of himself couldn't let his hilarious punchline go unheard. That was sarcasm. So I continued past and I gave him this nice, grateful, like, Gary Oak wave. Like, Thank you very much for clearing up this mass of confusion, this mix of signals. I now understand the absolute definition of sarcasm. But the real lesson in this story is not the definition of sarcasm, rather the definition of irony. <sighs> Dear Cool Man, if you're watching this, Please keep placing everybody in their designated predispositions of what is and isn't cool. You are setting an outstanding example, and I'd like to thank you for being the paragon of cool. <laughs> Guys, we're going to run into a lot of people throughout our lives, and they're going to try to tell you what is and isn't cool. They're going to dictate it. They're going to shove it in your faces. They're going to mock you and have their good laughs, organize themselves in these cliques and these categories, and just live up to the next expectation, but you know what I have to say to every single one of those people? Nothing.